Hey guys, Jamie here. In this video, I'm going to review the Sigma 7200 2.8 Sport. This is the EF mount paired with the Panasonic GH5. I'm going to talk about my experience with this lens, what I like and don't like about it, and whether I'd recommend it. Let's get to it. For a long time my go-to telephoto lens was the Olympus 75mm 1.8 for the Micro Four Thirds. This lens was great but I often found myself limited at times due to it being a prime lens. After using the Sigma 18-35 as well as the Sigma Micro Four Third Primes, I thought I would give this lens a go. I use a Viltrox 0.71 speed booster which makes this lens roughly 99-284mm f2.0 when using with the GH5. The image coming out of this lens is beautiful. It is a razor sharp even at wide open with beautiful colours and clarity. You can really tell straight away that you're shooting on a quality piece of glass. The compression that you get from using the telephoto lens is one of the main reasons why I wanted this lens. I often find myself using this lens in landscape situations or when I want to separate a subject with lots of bokeh and compression. The lens feels nicely built and solid. The focus and zoom rings feel smooth when adjusting. There's also a rubber gasket around the mount for weather sealing. The lens has lots of customizable buttons on the side such as autofocus, focus distancing and custom buttons. But I honestly don't find myself using these as much as I keep the lens in manual focus most of the time. The tripod collar can be adjusted by unscrewing it and turning it around. This can be useful on a tripod if you want to change to a portrait perspective. This is a big piece of glass which obviously makes this lens very front heavy. While well, this is to be expected with most full frame telephoto lens, the Sigma comes out as the heaviest when compared to Canon, Sony and other alternatives. The optical stabilisation built into this lens doesn't work with the GH5, so you need to make sure you have a way of stabilising your shots. I often use a camera strap around my neck when shooting handheld and let the in-body stabilisation of the GH5 do most of the work. But I think the pros outweigh the cons with this lens for me personally, you may want to consider the size and weight of this lens before making your decision. I've used this lens on commercial shoots and brought it to my travels over the past year. This lens is perfect for GH5 filmmakers who want a telephoto lens that they can also use with their photography stills camera. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Sigma 7200 2.8 with the GH5. Let me know in the comments if you're thinking of getting this lens or if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like for more content like this. Cheers.